A new era begins Monday, December 4th at the CBS News. That's when Emmy Award winning CBS News correspondent Jeff Glore will take over as full time anchor of the CBS Evening News. The 42 year old Glore has reported across the globe for virtually all CBS News broadcasts and digital platforms in his 10 years with the network. And we are pleased to have Jeff joining us today. Jeff, uh, for those who don't know, could you briefly tell us about uh, your journalism background? Yeah, sure. Good to be with you, Tim. Um, I uh, grew up in Buffalo, New York, then worked in Syracuse in local news for six years, then worked in Boston for four years and joined the network here at CBS about ten and a half years ago. Jeff, tell me how it feels to be uh, sitting in the same chair as some legendary broadcasters like uh, Walter Cronkite, Dan Rather, Bob Schieffer. It's very humbling. I understand the role that I'm taking right now and the folks who have been here in the past. The tradition of CBS News is something that is enormously meaningful to me. I've been a student of it for a long time now. I've learned from everyone who has worked here in the past. I continue to learn from my colleagues today and I feel really lucky that I'm able to work with them every day. Besides yourself on the desk, what changes can we uh, expect to see when uh, you take over the uh, CBS Evening News? I think you'll see some tweaks here and there and more changes as we move forward. Uh, I think you'll see even more of the longer form stories where we can uh, take some time to take some deeper dives and um, stronger and deeper looks into, into bigger issues when we have that chance. Um, I think that's what CBS News does best. Now, Jeff, you've been on scene as a correspondent for some major breaking stories throughout the years. Uh, will we still see you in the field from time to time? And if so, why do you think that's important? That's the goal, Tim. I mean, I think we, we'd like to be as aggressive as possible in responding to breaking news. It's important for us and for me to be on the scene of stories so we get a more comprehensive understanding. Well, in a world where we hear the term fake news more and more, how can you and your team ensure credibility for viewers? Report the news as accurately and as fairly as, as we see it and um, focus on facts and, and tell, uh, do the best reporting and, and, and practice the best writing we can every single day. Great. With social media and instant news updates, including CBSN, stronger than ever, why should people still turn to the CBS Evening News? Well, I, there's, there's one of the great challenges of this time, but also one of the great opportunities is that folks can find our stories, your work and, and, and mine in more ways than in more places than ever. And that's not just on TV screens, but also it's smartphones, it's iPads, it's computer screens. And so if we're doing the best work that we can and people can find us in more places, it's a great opportunity. All right. Thanks so much, Jeff, for taking time to talk with us today. Good luck with the launch of CBS Evening News, which you can see right here on MTN. CBS Evening News with Jeff Glor begins Monday, December 4th at 530 on MTN.